Oh yeah, I'll get rid of it just in case. Okay, now we're going to change something. We're going to go, we've already got the joist spaced. Now we're going to do the stringer spacing. Okay, so let me read and make sure I got all my ducks in a row. And I'm going to read it. It says, Joist size or spacing of stringers. They gave me the joist size. They say the joist, assume the joist at hand is two by fours. So these guys are two by four. This is one inch sheathing, two by four joists. So my stresses are all going to change. I'm going to need them all. My W is going to change, all these guys are going to change, and all of the properties are going to change. So I'm going to go to uh, uh, properties. Okay, what equations do I need? I need the same bending equation. According to this, we've got to worry about deflection of L over 360 only. Okay? and then shear. So L over 360 is good, then shear. Okay, this is dimensional. Dimensional. Uh, H B H point nine W N plus two H over 12. Okay, now I'm gonna change the equations. This is gonna be W2. W2 and W2. So I need W2. I need all of these, and it looks like I need uh, S, I, B, and H. S, I, B, and H. Okay, the properties are based on a 2 by 4. Why? They gave it to me. So where do we get those? Go to your table, 4, 1. Go down to a 2 by 4. It says a 2 by 4 is an inch and a half by 3 and a half. It says, if you move across, uh, that the moment of inertia is 5.36. If you keep going across, it says the section modulus is 3.06. Okay, it says it's made out of Doug fir larch. It's construction grade. It says this is 1,050. This is 140, and this is a million five. It's not going to get wet. It's a joist. It's underneath, uh, it's a stringer. It's underneath. So I've got joists here, stringers here. The only thing getting wet is the sheathing. So I don't have to worry about moisture. Do I have to worry about duration? Yes. It says it's a one time only. So I go to duration and it says increase by 25%. And it says do nothing with that. So if I take and I multiply those out, I get 150 times a buck and a quarter, a 1,050 times 1 1.25, I get 1312.5, and your book uses 1313. Got 140 times 1 1.25 is buck 75. So there's my values for that. Transfer them over, and we got it. The only thing I don't have is a W. How do I get a W? Well, I'm looking at the loading on the joist. Okay? So how do we do it back in 3360? We took adjacent members, went halfway in between, 
got a strip. Halfway between here and here is 13 inches. Halfway between here and here is 13 more. I'm going to take a 26 inch strip with 150 pounds per square foot on it. So how do I find it? W2 is the load on it, W1, times the pitch of the joist, 26 inches, divided by how many inches you got in a foot. Okay, if I do that right, this particular one, W1, was 150. So if I take 150, multiply it by 26, and divide it by 12, I get 325 pounds per foot. 325 pounds per foot. That's W2. Okay, so you see how the W's change. So I'm going to come over here and I'll put 325 here. 325. 325. 325. Okay, that takes care of those holes. That's pretty good. Then I'm going to find the F's. 1313. 1313. The uh, E, a million five. The H, 175. Takes care of all those. S, 306. I, 536. B, inch and a half. H, three and a half. H, three and one half. It's like all my uh, holes are filled. Those should match the book. You should be on page uh, 615, right-hand column. Those numbers should all match exactly the same. And if they do, it comes out to 38.5 inches. The next one comes out to 49 inches. Okay, if that's 49, let me get, find something that works a little better here. 49 inches. And the last one comes out to 3.72 feet. Multiply it by 12, you get 44.7 inches. Got three numbers. The littlest of the three governs. So, according to this, the farthest apart I could put the joists or the stringers is 38 and a half inches. So this is L2. L2, right here. Oh, you guys got to stop me. Made some stupid mistakes. L1, 26, 26. L2. Stringer spacing. 38 and a half is max. Okay? What did the book do? Let's see what they did. So we got to the end of that, and we got our comparison of the three spans calculated above, say the 38 and a half works. Looking at my, under, my layout, in this case, 36 inches would give me five perfect spots. So they defaulted and made that. 36 inches. So that would have been the second answer. So I've got one inch sheathing over joist spaced at 26 inches on center. And then I've got the joist resting on top of stringers that are spaced at 36 inch on center. Now what do I have to worry about yet? Got to worry about that post that's going down below it. So I'm going to draw a picture quick and lay this out like a bird would see it looking straight down. And then we're going to try to figure out how we, figure, we determine the load each of the uh, individual shores or posts are going to take. And that should do it. You want to break us?